baby. Why do teachers need to use resources, commonly called as TLMs or teaching learning materials, when they teach? How do resources support children's learning? इससे पहले भी मैं पढ़ाती थी वहाँ भी मैंने साढ़े पाँच साल पढ़ाया था वहाँ से मैं टेक्स्ट बुक से पढ़ाती थी क्वेश्चन आंसर याद कराती थी मैथ्स में भी कराती थी पर अभी मैं यहाँ सात साल से जब से मैं टी के साथ पढ़ा रही हूँ तो मेरे को ऐसा लगता है अगर हम शुरुआत से ये टी के साथ जो समझ देते हैं बच्चों को वो समझ इतनी मजबूत होती है उनको मैथ्स में उनको कभी भी और तरह की मैंने अभी तक जो देखा कभी भी कोई दिक्कत नहीं आई है अभी तक टीचर इदे मकल मतरपंद्रे आवर अद्वन बड़स्को मदद आक्टिविटी माता आक्टिविटी पुनः बदल बेरे बेरेबाद आवेन और मनसल बरते मास्क हिंग नावे इन आवेन डवलप आगता होते हैं डवलप आगे आग टीचर आवश्यकते नाक पीरियड इला अल वर्क नड़ीता अलतक पाड़ी सन्वेश नैज सन्वेश तक मकल स्व कुतूहल मूड़े अल ना गोड़ मध्यू तो, निजवाद सन्वेश के हादसा इन तकु मत मकल के डयल प्राक्टिस अवकाश मोड़ोद्र हेल्बा उत्साह बरता मकल के जो मोसरी अद्वर प्लान इद्यार तपस्क प्रयत्न अंकिंग स्किल्स मकल्ल होते जो दीज टीचर्स व्याल्यू रिसोर्स दट आर केपबल आफ बिल अंडर्स्टांडिंग इन द चाइल those that enable children to be active curious and creators of knowledge becoming independent of the teacher not static models tv programs or flashcard versions of lessons in which children are mere passive viewers and consumers of textbooks i think uh, some 20 25 years ago this started changing in india where you know it was recognized that materials can also be manipulables they can also be materials that children can use for various things so you know it it came to at least in the mind that you know you could also have materials which were distinctly different from the kind of materials that we were thinking of earlier when children given any number of materials just to play around are not going to be able to Uh, discover a number in it no so it will happen only when they uh, sh- uh, sh- uh, share a joint activity uh, with adults uh, or with other uh, uh, peer group where uh, the use of number meaningfully comes and then it uh, the it develops there is any resource that does not elicit a question in the child's mind then it's not a resource in the initial part of my work we were looking at resources as resource material and it's not to undervalue that but i find that another uh, extremely important uh, resource is the uh, you know uh, collection of ideas both go hand in hand because very often i found that material can be very limiting and restricting and uh, it doesn't allow uh, teachers own creativity and teachers own engagement see material per se is a, is just a inanimate uh, uneducational uh, entity it is the teacher and what the purpose the teacher has in mind which brings the object and the material to life in the hoshangabad science teaching program which one and which tried to emphasize that you should have materials which are can be given to the children and for that they must be cheap and they must be easily accessible if you you know make those two conditions then at least the accessibility of the materials to children would be uh, ensured adu history ge sambandhisid irabodu geography irabodu kannada irabodu vishaya enadru idirabodu matte matte a process nalli ना इको अदान अनुभवु अदर मूलक वो ऐनो कलिके आती अदूँ बहुत मुख्य अंत द नेचर आफ द सबजेक्ट मैटर हाउ चिलड्र लर्न इट आंड दि ओबेक्टिव आफ द लेसन आर सेट्रल इन द डिसन आफ द रिसोर्स see there are uh, many tlms which help to develop the concept in the child there are many tlms which really support through practice and automatization of a particular concept uh, this is a uh, the thousand ganit mala which 
uh, we have extended it, uh, you know, 100 idea beyond and found to be very, very useful in the sense that children are thinking about 373. They count, they locate. And after some time, they are able to see, okay, there is a, you know, how many hundreds are there? How many tens are there? If you can take that, you know, you, you can say 373, the fact that there are 37 tens is something which does get uh, supported and, you know, so there are uh, uh, either kind of a color coding, but it's very different from telling you the child, look, don't you see, this is what it is. You, you are facilitating it, of course, in that sense, creating that kind of a uh, uh, context, the questions, uh, in order to be able to uh, start seeing that pattern when the children get ready for it. Children throw a marble from a distance. If it goes through this, they get three points. Here they get five points. Here get the nine points. Similarly here. And they keep playing on their own. Same game can be played with higher numbers. Maybe two digit numbers, decimal numbers, or fractions, and whatever else. One child may be able to pick up from this game only the comparisons. Addition, they may not know. Another child may be able to add also. And so on. So I think they learn differently. The fact that these are these are cards which can be moved around gives me manipulation. It gives me a greater scope for exploration, and you know, accidentally also hitting upon what may be something which rings a bell in my mind. So it's that kind of uh, uh, advantage that I have. When I am trying to make uh, make uh, squares, can I move this around? If I may move one this one more this side, and will this complete? So it it is it gives me the opportunity to explore you because I can see the thing concretely and I can move the thing concretely. Someone who is language teaching and such na alphabet go tir beko, ado hara method ag bodo ado hasa method nali. Ena adru what to script odak bar beko, nyan pit kor beko, bareyok bar beko anta. One day, the other 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 day, the uh, one of the challenges that we had when we started working in government schools in rural Rajasthan was putting up displays. So uh, we, were, we were racking our brains and then we came up with this. This is what we call a Shabd Divan and actually we use several of these in the classroom. The words that are here are words provided by the children. Uh, so these can be words that children find difficult, they can be words that the children like, they can be words from a storybook or at times they can be words that a teacher, you know, maybe the teacher wants to uh, focus on a particular alphabet. Now the important thing is what do you do with this and we have, uh, you know, at least 15-20 word games. So these are just pockets and these are, you know, slips and so that old words keep going at the back and when the teacher wants to reinforce, they bring them up in front. This is what I look for in resources, that it should allow multiple use, it should engage children at different levels, it should allow children's own knowledge, their own, for example, their language to come in here and it allows teacher creativity and it you know it generates a lot of activity in the classroom so activity that's enjoyable for children but I think the most important thing is to make success achievable this transition from home to school needs to be non-threatening and once children start engaging with that process and once they're successful once they experience success it even changes the teacher's perception of that child my own childhood, if I remember, uh, a lot of uh, things that moved, that worked, intrigued me very much. And I used to develop a lot of them. 
and when I became a science student, um, so I always experimented with things. But later when we started the school, this primary school, I could see that the children were not able to comprehend a particular science concept because the blackboard teaching did not give them an experience. So I was wondering how we can make this science not a matter of memory but give them an experience. ಕಥೆ ಊರ ಹೆಸರಿನ ಕಥೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಈ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹಿರಿಯರನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿ ಅವರು ಈ ಊರಿಗೆ ಹೆಸರು ಹೇಗೆ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಎಂದು ಒಂದೆರಡು ಕಥೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೇಳಿದಂತೆ ಬರೆಯಿರಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಊರಿನ ನೆಲದ ಮಣ್ಣು ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಇದನ್ನು ಊರು ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತಲು ಹೋಗಿ ಕೈಯಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ತಗೊಂಡು ಬನ್ನಿ ಆ ನಂತರ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಆ ಮಣ್ಣಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಬೆಳೆಗಳನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆದಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ ಈಗ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇತಿಹಾಸದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಸಿಕ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೋದು ಓದ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ವಿಜಯನಗರ ಹೇಗಿತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಓದ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಕ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಆದರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಊರಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ರಿಟನ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಬರೆದಿರುವ ಏನೂ ಸಿಗಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೌಖಿಕವಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಅವ್ರ ಊರೇ ಒಂದು ರಿಸೋರ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಒಂದು ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ತೊಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕ್ರಮ ಅನುಸರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಬರಲಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಹೀಗೆ ಮಾಡಿತ್ತು would say that i have been really surprised at amount, the amount of flexibility this particular material has shown and uh, the it's it turned out to be a very rich kind of a context with a whole lot of relationships many of it will children can discover the important thing is this material is being used to solve a problem usually a problem is set for example we i have a question about how how many different ways can you make a hole using only two type of these pieces and you will see children going there looking at combination seeing it you single material representing it abstractly and think 3 4 5 and there so there is a problem solving activity and there is a meaningful kind of a context in which the material is being used to support the thinking so it could even be you know like you want an unmarked thermometer or an unmarked uh, you know magnet because in order to support the kind of enquiry which you are doing along with the children it's uh, you know connected in connected to the dynamics of that enquiry makkalu drushti konnina nodadaga ondu spashta kalpane barbekagutade illi yen helta iddivi anta annodanna spashtavagi tilisuva ondu chitra ondu image ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೀಗ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ವೃಷಭಾವತಿ ನದಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇದು ಪರಿಸರಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೊರೆ ನೊರೆ ಥರದ್ದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದಾಗ ಆ ನೊರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತೇ ಹೋದರೆ ಆವಾಗ ನಾವು ಬರೀ ಭಾಷೆ ಮೇಲೇ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಒತ್ತು ಕೊಟ್ಟಂಗಾಗ್ತದೆ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಿ the growth of the shoot but uh, we never uh, see the growth of the root and the relationship between growth of the root and the growth of shoot is never appreciated in a everyday experience so we devised an experiment to show how uh, growth of a root and growth out of a shoot can be observed and measured and we have the experiment so here you literally see how gravity works on roots so such experiments really enlighten the child and uh, make that an experience if you just draw a uh, line 
a drawing on the blackboard and explain, the children would only uh, learn it as a story. It is only a story. But if it should become an experience, then children should see this happen, really happen and in the living things like a, a growing roots. So, we have experimented with uh, monocotyledon leaf uh, seeds, dicotyledon seeds. So, all of them have roots that respond to gravity and that can be seen. Malaprabha Nadiya Hadu Vanta. Idhan Hadu Devaru Shrimati Ningava Madiwala Ranta. Malaprabha Nadi Yellinda Hutu Te Amele Adu Sumar Vandu Hattu Jaga Dali Vandu Ali Yellitan Bearberry Turn Tagolate. Adi Yelladanu held but to Konege Kudal Sangamad Hatra Hogi, Krishna Nadi Jotega, the Marjak to the Adbuta and Untanre, E. Janapa the Kavige, E. Hutti the Staladinda, Sangamba the Stala the Varagono, Yella Stalagali, Nadi Hige Huitunta, Heg Hero the Sadia Gatano, and Prashne Burbekanabuga. E. Prashne Makal Manasnali, Amele Shikshakar Manasnali, Burbekid, E. Ascher Mudbekak to the Heg Sadia Girbozunta, and not one do. Here, this is the game, it's a puzzle, and it's an activity, and it uses good materials and all. Each one has five uh, squares, one, two, three, four, five. There are twelve such. Mathematically, it is possible to show there are only twelve and no more, no less. And using this, they can prepare various shapes. Some of these shapes, they can uh, create. They can make even simpler shapes using only say three of them, a square or rectangle. But uh, teachers, the way they understand maths, more as a series of computations, they don't seem to think this is useful. So all our efforts in making this say, interesting and so on were not useful. We were uh, you know, under the impression when we go to the classroom, they would, children will be playing with this and multiplication, subtraction, addition. That was our uh, imagination. What the teacher has done was, uh, even the, all these uh, uh, digits he has taken out, stuck on some board, white board, and said, sir, it's so neat now. All the, it's in the order, one, two, three, four, five, six. Children every day come and see once. So it, the teacher thought it's a very good resource in that fashion. I thought it is not. So it, I think depends on what the teacher understands as what is maths and what, what is uh, education. If you want to actually make the children curious, we want them to explore, then provide them with the material that will make, make them explore and learn. And not bind them into saying that, well, let me show you how uh, a prism splits light or how light bends in a, in a, when you put it in a refractive or how a periscope works. It's much better for her to actually sit down and make a periscope. It's not very difficult. Unfortunately, we have many companies, we have many processes where there is an increasing emphasis on selling to the schools materials which are dead-end materials. And I think that's a bit of a problem. The emphasis seems to be on static displays, mere decorations that do not involve children and thinking. Reproductions of textbooks, abacus, permanent wall pictures many times made because there is a TLM grant to be spent. These materials are the show and tell kind and students become passive receivers. If why would I say it's a bad material? Because uh, this manipulation I think had, adds hardly anything more to an understanding about what 35 is. You know, it's uh, logic. I mean, you you just want to say that this three, these represents uh, ten, and these each represents one, and uh, I think that is as opaque as when you're writing three and you are having five. So it happens because very many times, many of the ag uh, activities and manipulatives are often designed keeping the final. Uh, stage where it is to be reached, you know, whether the final ag algorithm to be able to explain uh, that rather than looking at what is the thinking process of the child and what is it that makes sense to the child at the stage where it is. to be able
able to uh, you know help a child to develop a particular concept you are doing an activity and very often in the part of the process of doing that activity you know that if you had this kind of a material it would make the conversation with the child easier the communication easier so each uh, manipulative gets uh, designed within a classroom uh, practice uh, in that sense i think a manipulative is uh, i feel it is a kind of a congealed product it's a product which is kind of as in a sense carries memories of that particular activity because it had a purpose and a function within a particular activity <laughs> once a resource is created it takes a long time uh, some uh, probably a sort of a gestation period to assimilate the many faceted communication that it's possible to give us we have to use the instrument collectively the teachers discuss and then ask questions about it then uh, we would be Uh, understanding the whole dynamics of how it works in communicating this science concept to the child if you really want to help the child you have to see the world through the, through the eyes of the child so if you can imagine how the child is able to see and you can you can understand where the obstacles for the knowledge is so how to overcome that we have used bold colors so that they are attractive for children we have six of these in different colors and they color coded the cards go with it we spent a lot of time figuring out the size and the font so these features are extremely important while looking at material it should be visible to the whole class it should be attractive it should be durable usually kg card or this thermocol nothing else you know almost always these were the materials used for making uh, teaching aids but i i had realized that it is possible to use other things of course plywood is very difficult for teachers to uh, cut make holes and paint quite tough but that's possible there are so many other materials that are available but teachers have no knowledge of those materials so we started a small you know uh, research on our own <coughs> through my organization and uh, came up with a set of materials uh, our kit actually had many different types of materials raw materials and that was intentional even if it's possible to use the uh, same material for 10 model we didn't we chose different materials and we put all those materials together to show to teachers look this is possible namma shikshakarige avaru paatha maadta iruva paathagalige poorakavagiruva ಆದರೆ ಸೀಮಿತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವರ ಒಂದು ವಿಷಯ ಜ್ಞಾನವೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿ ಬರಬೇಕು ಕಲಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಥರದ ಸಾಮಗ್ರಿಯನ್ನು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ವಿಚಾರ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಈವನ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟರ್ ಈ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲರ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ will not bring about any learning it is the the facilitator the way he is going to make use of these resources way he is going to relate it to the concept of science that's going to construct knowledge in the minds of the child a limiting factor in the whole process is providing space for the child so during the process of this experiencing the experiment if space is created and the child dominates that space then the learning the, the facilitator should do that and then the learning happens uh, for children actually for all human beings is that whenever you have something in your hand you're not satisfied being directed to what to do what what you are told to do you, you it's our nature to explore and so one of the things that therefore is very important when you give materials to to children is to try and give them an idea of what they need to do but leave them with a space to explore and in that process of exploration they will do what you want them to do and perhaps much more my name is 
last in the line. In this sentence, which is the preposition? Last. Last. What is the spelling of the word last here? Demonstration would result in the But demonstration again, tell Albalastanta, Sampan Mulagalana, Balaskandu, activities Marazaga, Adinu Echu result could attend Madame. I am the activity in a day by Bit Butandre, Takshna and Madane, Tane, Madi, other than Arthama. Agagi, Echu Indregana, Balaka Madikondan Tela Kalikeli, Echu Maklu Vishavana, Grace the Octor and Takanta Vichera, Kant Kanda Madame. The preparation of TLMs dominate a student teacher's training, but the kind of resources they use hardly make any significant difference to the process of teaching and learning and so they often give up using them when they become teachers. The popular criticism is that they do not use TLMs but that could be because they do not perceive any tangible difference in learning when they use these show and tell type resources. During that process the, uh, the TCH or students, they should be able to use this. If they use it, then they will uh, understand the importance of this. Nowadays, what happens is these uh, students studying in teachers' college, they make a lot of uh, teaching learning material. Most of it is just uh, pictures and two dimensional models. Instead of that, uh, for science and mathematics especially and geography if they start creating material understanding the child's requirement in a classroom situation I think uh, that's that will be very good these uh, teacher educators needs to appreciate the importance of resource center and the way it could be used in a school so uh, as a uh, prerequisite for this, I expect that the teacher resource centers should be established in uh, this teacher's college. We have sat through a few reflection sessions wherein the teacher educators debrief the student teachers um, of one particular school. Um, generally, we found that uh, the discussions uh, do not uh, touch much upon the resources per se, you know, the quality of the resources and how useful uh, it was and uh, how relevant it was. Um, the focus was more on, uh, I would say rather criticism, you know, you could have done this better, you could have done that better, uh, you know, you didn't attend to this child uh, or, you know, that child was distracted and things like that. I think they need for much more interactions, many more, you know, uh, uh, experience for themselves, reflections and understanding. Then only I think they will be able to use it uh, many times. So somebody, you ask, ask them to open up and then start thinking, they take more time, sometimes a year or even two years to think and uh, do it on their own. Usual response is that children are very happy to use. It basically means, we thought, you know, it's because they're learning, it's not always so. The very fact that they're material, the very fact that they're touching and going around, that itself is a new experience, which also happens within the workshop, within the teacher training. The moment they touch, feel and go around and do something, that itself is a uh, good, good experience. I encourage teachers to create more and more models, even though it is communicating the same uh, science concept because the teachers get involved in creating instruments. Uh, when they are creative about developing models, there is an excitement they have and uh, there is a sense of fulfillment in, in preparing model. <laughs> Time table prakaranatilkundi. Patamanavagalan, Nagatagate, 
ನಾಳೆ ಆಹಾರ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಮೊದಲು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಾವು ವಿಚಾರ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಸಂಜೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ನಾಳೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಯಾರು ತರ್ತೀರಪ್ಪ ನೀವು ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಯಾರು ತರ್ತೀರ ಏಳು ಯಾರು ತರ್ತೀರ ಆಹಾರ ಧಾನ್ಯಗಳು ಯಾರು ತರ್ತೀರ ಅಂತ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡೋದು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವಿಟಿ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದಾಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದನೂ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ತಯಾರಿ ಎರಡು ಎರಡು ಅಂತ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ತಯಾರಾಗಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಲೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ತಯಾರಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಮರಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಐರನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಕಲೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಪ್ರೇರೇಪಿಸಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಗಳ ಬಳಸ್ಕಡೆಲ್ಲ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತೋದಷ್ಟು ತುಂಬ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕಲಿಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಪರಿಣಾಮಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ತಯಾರಿ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ನಮಗೂ ತುಂಬ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇದೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನೂ ತಯಾರಿ ಮಾ